Lee here, and welcome to the poll list presented by LongboxRadio.com for February 22nd, 2012. Uh, this is like take four of what I've done here, as I am very tired today, so I'm going to whiz through what I picked up at the comic book store today real quick, uh, as I do every week. So in no particular order, uh, Aquaman number six, Jeff Johns, making Aquaman uh, relevant, super fun to read, uh, definitely a book uh, that I've added to my poll list, so looking forward to reading that one. Uh, the Flash, we get a, a cool look here at Captain Cold looking super badass. He's got no sleeves, which is kind of weird. Usually he's all parked up because, you know, ice, cold, I don't know. Anyway, uh, amazing cover there. Francis Manipal's art is sweet. Hopefully the writing uh, is as good as the art in this one. Uh, <clears throat> Justice League Dark. Got Zatanna on the cover there in her new costume and such. Um, we're going to kind of see where this book goes at the end of the last issue. You ca they kind of finally brought all the characters together, and they disbanded shortly after that. So we'll see what uh, what draws them back together. So it'll be pretty cool. Uh, only death will separate them. Sweet. All right. So Savage Hawkman number six. Uh, he's dealing with Gentleman Ghost, who's actually on the cover here looking super awesome. So uh, super excited to actually read this one from Tony Daniel. Um, really cool reveal last issue that that, that was actually going to be the, uh, the villain. So... Love my Hawkman. Uh, Superman, number six. Uh, this is, of course, brought to us by George Perez. Um, kind of been enjoying this one uh, lately more than, than Action Comics. They're both, both those books are very, very wordy. Uh, but I really haven't read Superman before, so this has uh, actually been an okay read for me. I'm, not, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. So the lone book from Image this week is uh, Morning Glory 16. Um, kind of a cliffhanger in the last issue, as with most issues. So really, really looking forward to uh, sitting down and reading this one from uh, Spencer and Azima. Uh, Avengers Academy 26, Who Killed Jocasta? Oh, she's breaking out of the grave. Uh, again, another series I've been following since the beginning, really enjoying it. Uh, kind of in a weird place right now, but still moving forward. So, good read. Always, uh, always enjoy my, uh, my Avengers Academy from Christos uh, Gage, as it were. Um, Fantastic Four from, uh, Jonathan Hickman, of course. Uh, the first Fantastic Four in a while that hasn't, well, out of three other issues that hasn't released on the same day as an FF so hopefully this one's kind of tying everything together ending the current arc they're on and we can move forward after that so has been an awesome read as I say week in week out uh, definitely check out Fantastic Four if you're not into the Fantastic Four any of the Jonathan, uh, Jonathan Hickman stuff is a good place to start so highly recommend it uh, <clears throat> Magneto Not a Hero ends uh, this week with four out of four uh, we have Magneto versus his brother there, his clone brother, uh, has actually been a pretty, pretty cool, uh, pretty cool series. So, if you like Magneto, uh, for one reason or another, this is actually a really cool series. He's pretty badass in it. Uh, he's, he's, you know, taking names and stuff like that, so definitely, uh, definitely check it out. Uh, Venom, we got Circle of Four Part Four. Uh, I haven't read last week's issue yet, so I'm gonna get, uh, to read two, which is awesome. That's the way I like it. Uh, and that one's coming to us from Parker, so they're switching up an order, uh, artist, yeah, writer, sorry, uh, per issue on this one. So, because you get Venom's gun there, and of course, his issue, which is next week, uh, because it's a leap year, it's still the 29th, that's, uh, still February, uh, concludes the Circle of Four story, so that's gonna be awesome. Uh, X-Men 25... It's been much advertised in Marvel books leading up to this. Uh, here we have Storm about to stake Jubilee. Uh, Jubilee, of course, has kind of been living it up as a vampire as of last issue, so we're going to see what the X-Men have to do to, uh, you know, snap some sense into her there. Uh, Wolverine and the X-Men, which I've really been enjoying. Uh, it's from Jason Aaron, who I really enjoy his writing and stuff like that, and him on and Wolverine seem to go together pretty well. So we have... Uh, the school's in dire straits. Not a lot of money. Uh, they were trying to get Angel's, uh, Warren's money to kind of kickstart the school, but they deemed him insane. If you're reading Uncanny X-Men, uh, Uncanny X-Force, sorry, you know what happened uh, to him there. So they, they don't have his money, his grants. So uh, they have no money running the school. So last issue, Wolverine presumably went into space to gamble. Why not? Uh, so that's what we have on the cover there. So super cool book. Been liking that one. Uh, speaking of Uncanny X-Force... Here it is, issue 22. Uh, probably going to sit down this weekend and actually get caught up. I'm very... quite a few issues behind. I think I'm missing a few, actually, in the early, uh, like, 5 and 6 or something like that. So I'm going to probably have to um, either read those online, download them on Marvel Comics app or something like that. Because I will pay for my comics. I will not torrent them. Uh, so... That's cool. Rick Remender, of course, has been, uh, last week he was talking about, he's got some very exciting things coming up for that book, so it's a good one to be on, apparently. I just gotta get caught up. Uh, going over to Ultimate Spider-Man, uh, the first Ultimate Spider-Man to have a free digital issue, or maybe the last one did as well, but super cool, uh, cover there. Ultimate Spider-Man's been pretty cool. He's, he's starting to tangle with some villains and stuff like that, so this, uh, this book is well underway. Issue 7 already. Um, uh, over to Secret Avengers, we have, uh, Venom, uh, Flash Thompson joining the team there. Uh, super cool. Rick Remender's on the book now. I like the last issue. Uh, it's not doing the whole one-shot thing anymore. It's going to go into to story arcs again, which, I mean, with Rick Remender on the book is probably a good thing. So, looking forward to reading that one. 
Uh, and finally, uh, All Star Western number six. This has been one of the best New Fifty Two books, hands down. This Suicide Squad, uh, Scott Snyder's Batman, to name a few, uh, which is coincidentally right behind me, uh, ha have been the, my favorite books of the New Fifty Two. So really looking forward to reading this one. Uh, yeah, that's the it's the cover I used at the beginning of the show for a reason. So that is the pull list for February twenty second. I'm going to get some food in me and go to sleep. We are recording uh, LBR. I believe it's episode twenty already this weekend, so you'll get to hear what we have to say uh, about all these books and review, and of course the news and stuff for the past two weeks. So we'll talk to you then. Uh, until then, happy reading.